Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and today we are here with a Brutal Red Dragon Slayer Guide for Old School RuneScape in my endless adventure to make as many Slayer Guides or just guides as possible. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure to leave a like. On top of that, got plenty of links so you can check me out and support me down below and I'd appreciate it greatly. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into the guide. So to start, should you kill Brutal Red Dragons? In my opinion, you should. They're profitable task, and for med-level Slayer, you're looking for those, so I feel like that's a pretty good reason to come here. On top of that, decent XP as well, so when you combine that, I feel like it's definitely a worthwhile task in that regard. For the requirements, the first one isn't necessarily a requirement, but you can get this as a task unlock through Konar, Duradel, and Steve, or Neve, if you want that as well. I imagine with Brutal Dragons, it's going to be a higher level player base, so you can also do that if you'd like. On top of that, for the actual requirements, 37 prayer and 70 range would be ideal. You can also come here with really high melees if you'd like, but I'd imagine 70 range is much easier to get. Brutal Red Dragons are weak to stab and range. Their attack style is melee, mage, and fire breath, and their max hit is a 22 or a 50 if you do not have adequate fire protection. Drop wise, you can expect hard clues at a 1 and 128 rate, elites at a 1 in 500 rate, and then a draconic visage is a 1 in 10,000 drop, so not anything you're likely to see, but something you can hold out hope for. And then overall, the average GP per kill that you should be picking up would be 12.5k. So we'll start with the range options because I think most people are going to come here with range. Here we have three different setups ranging from low to high and all of the options are listed there for the setups. The first two setups do include extended anti-fire while the one on the far right does not. You'll be praying mage as well when you come here so the anti-fire and the mage is actually two levels of defense so you'll be fine there. All of the items are listed below. Essentially what we are looking to do is get the most amount of range DPS along with that some good prayer bonus as well in our gear where possible and on the far right hand side in the high level setup I mean that's that's kind of absurd <laughs> I'd imagine most people are coming here with that but if you are I mean you won't have any worries at all you won't be taking any damage so you don't have to worry too much about food or defensive stats on your gear for the melee setup here we have a med and a high level setup um, melee is a little bit tougher but if you still want to do it you definitely can here we also have anti-dragon slots in both of them so you're not going to need the anti-fire there Again, all of the items are listed below if you want to check out each of them individually. Here, though, we are looking for some good melee DPS and along with that, some good melee defensive stats because we will be tanking the melee damage from these Brutal Red Dragons. So we'll be getting to the Catacombs of Karend. There is an alternative option I will talk about after this, but for the main entry point, um, the best way to get here will be the Xerix Heart Teleport. The second best would be the Karend Teleport. The third that would get you far to the southeast in Hasidius is the Xerix Glade Teleport. And then fourth and finally is the Veos Boat option that everyone can take through Port Serum. So find your way to the catacombs one way or another. I'll be showing the melee setup first and then the range setup. So for melee, all I have is a teleport to get away and a teleport to get here. Along with that, a super combat potion and a couple prayer potions and sharks. If you're going to use maybe a dragon defender instead of a dragon fire shield per se, you could also bring an extended anti-fire as well. That would be highly recommended to protect from the damage. Once you're down here though, go ahead and head to the west and then go north through this little hellhound lair and then you'll find yourself in the brutal the dragon area over here to the northwest. Upon entering in, make sure to throw on your mage prey so you don't get dealt any bits of damage. To unlock the other teleport that I had mentioned earlier, you can go ahead and continue on through this brutal red dragon lair and the brutal black dragon lair and then climb up this vine and upon doing that, then you have access to the other way of getting here that can be also accessed us through the Xerix Talisman. This is the Xerix Inferno Teleport and it's pretty close to where you have to get to in the catacombs and you can also unlock that teleport earlier. So it's a nice little beginner option there. One way or another though, go ahead and find your way on down and then make your way to the red dragons between the black and the blue and just make sure to pray mage. You could also pray piety if you'd like to get these done a little bit quicker, kind of up to you and where your account stands and how you feel all of that is needed. But once you're down here, go ahead and make sure that whatever weapon you are using is on stab and then just start tearing through the Brutal Red Dragons. Um, in this higher level setup, gear, it's, it's gonna be a little bit easier. I understand for most people it might not hit the same, but that's why I'd say most people are probably going to want to come here with range. So there's really not too much to keep an eye out for in terms of meleeing them. You will get dealt a little bit of damage here and there, but nothing too much you'll have to worry about. If you need to bring more food, then go ahead and do that as you please. 
You will be banking a lot though because you get three to four drops per kill that you'll be picking up. So for the range setup here, I have basically the same inventory as before. The only difference is a ranging potion and some summer pies instead of sharks and a super combat. Really nothing crazy that you have to look out for here. Again, if you need the extended anti-fire, go ahead and drink that and make sure you're protected in that regard. Personally, I don't have any anti-dragon shields or anything on my person, so I do need that potion. Make sure to always keep your magic prayer on as well, and then you'll be good to go as far as the damage that you are receiving. Other than that though, it's basically as easy as just sitting back and then raking in the kills at that point with range. There's nothing too much that you have to be on the lookout for, and you can just kind of pull in that cash as you may. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the Brutal Red Dragon Slayer Guide. If you did, make sure to leave a like on top of that. Anything you'd like to tell me or others, would love to hear it in a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos like this as soon as they go live, make sure to subscribe. But with that said, hopefully you have a wonderful day, and uh, peace.